Ah, oh, shit, it's a stream day. Oh, yeah. God, I'm still getting put together. Alex, I haven't even... My hair is a mess. I gotta get into I gotta get into makeup and wardrobe. Alex, okay. why don't you thank some folks? All right, uh, first off, before we get started, thank you, Family Consumer, for the 42, holy fuck, month resub. That's 10, a lot of months. 10% of my way to 420, absolutely. <laughs> God willing, there. thank you. <laughs> thank you, Hexagon, which 26 month resub. I'll bleed, you'll bleed. We'll all bleed for ill bleed. There's going to be a lot of bleeding tonight. So much so. blood. Thank you. Yeah, get your tourniquets out. I know you all just have tourniquets with you. Shit, I was hoping the opening monologue would be longer than that. Can you hear me? Oh, back? also, thank you, Proxy Glitch Cat, for, the, uh, for gifting five subs to the community. Oh, shit. Welcome, thank you. Welcome to the sub club. Foss009, RDBAAA, Full of Lizards, Mr. Kuroneko, and Elfbutt. Welcome. Cool. And yeah, the theater does say shock it to me, much <laughs> like... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. But before I'm you get started, you. can okay. you can you hand me a hair tie? Oh yes. Thank you. Here you go. Um, I was going to say, Danny. Danny accused me of 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 being a potential um stan of laughing. And I think it's possible. I think no. it's plausible. No, I would have been. There's a Smothers Brothers laughing divide, and I would have been on the Smothers Brothers side. They're folk musicians. I just. I love them. One of them's a yo-yo guy. How can you not love that? You do what you want. I'll be over here watching the Lawrence Welk show and have my entrance to heaven guaranteed. <laughs> if you watch Lawrence Welk, they just open the gates right up. They're like, get on in. Get on in. Godly entertainment. That's Retro Pals. A new, uh, what was what was that guy's name? Pat Boone? The Pat Boone not... for the new generation. That's no, us. no, no, no. Lawrence I... Welk, that's what I said. <laughs> Thank you. Nari Fox, 36 month resub. Hey, thank you. 36 months, yo. Three years. Yes, three whole three years. years. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Wait, and I'm thank ready. you, Humor44. Always great for the 22 month resub. Always great to see the Dreamcast classic. Yes, thank you. I agree. Classic stuff. Classic. Okay, so we're back on the rails. We're almost at the weekend, but first, we got to play through two more chapters of Ill Bleed. Last time around, we finished up, uh, what was the last story, Alex? Do you remember? Uh, yes. The last story, um, was it Worm Time? We did the Worm Time, and then we did the wor the one after that. Oh. How could, I yes, Donald Cashman. Yes. Pretty soon. Okay, no, not that. Uh, the Wood Puppets. It was the Wood Puppets. Oh, yeah, the yes. Wood Puppets. Okay, thank the you, The Wood thank Puppets. You. How could I forget it? So something I didn't notice until now. Uh, these theaters all have names, as Alex uh, noted just at the top mm -hmm. of the show. The first uh, movie that we saw, of course, was The Home Run of Death here at the... Uh, here at the... Game! <laughs> <laughs> here at the Minnesota Hell Cinema. Cool. Then, of course, we went to uh, The Revenge of Queen Worm, which was naturally at the Cinepanic. I want to go to the Cinepanic. Up here, last time around, we finished up Wood Puppets. That's in Boogie's Fun Movies. Was that a fun movie? And here at Killer Department Store, which we're about to explore imminently. This, of course, is the Shock It To Me Theater. Good, good. All right, so we're going to do our regular prep. We're going to head to the drugstore. We're going to load up on drugs. And we're pretty much just going to face roll through this next area. <laughs> I'm just going to load up on all the healing items, like the most I can get, and then just see what happens all right over here that's where your upgrades are this is the uh this is the place why am i not oh my god i about i just about said why am i not hearing any, any sound i don't have headphones boy thank you see see this is why jim polian this is why i wouldn't watch i think i would boycott laughing because they had nixon on no well who knew at the time everyone thought he was just a nice guy right <laughs> Okay, now he I had a great Sterling the... reputation. Yeah, a hee haw fan. That's me. Wow. I'm being roasted. Okay, now I hear sound. We're in business. Let's do this. If you're new to this, uh, the game empties out your inventory at the end of every level, so you need to rebuy all the stuff that you need to buy. That sucks. You have to rebuy it. Okay, we have a maximum of nine. I think we're going to max out on... You know, why not everything? 
because I've heard that this next area is really tough. And judging by uh, just how well the last couple of playthrough sessions have gone, I think we're gonna, I think we're just gonna load up. He was invented in Canada. No, I don't know what to believe. It was invented. Yes, in like a in laboratory. A <laughs> cool. Your parents still watch Hee Ha. Is Hee Ha in the air uh, in some alternate universe? Because that would fucking rock. Is this enough? Yeah, I'm just gonna spend the rest. <laughs> No upgrades? No, fuck it. No upgrades, everybody. We are anti-upgrade. We're maxing out on porno mags, too. Dead. Who knows what challenges await us at the killer department store? Also, I have multiple backup saves, so if this idiotic strategy doesn't work for some reason, we can just roll it back. Okay. But I'm ready this time. This game has completely kicked my ass since I started to play through it a couple weeks ago, and that's gonna change. It's still going to kick my ass, but I'll at least be prepared. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or so you'd think. Alex, are you ready to go to number one? Yes. The Killer Department Store, starring Donald Cashman, with Mark Gibson, Will Cooks, Steak Man, Cutie Mary, into Kaplan. It's made by Michael Reynolds. Let's do this. Steak Man. Steak Man. Can we get sponsored by Steak Man? Steak Man. Cashback sale. One million. Spend a million, get a million. That sounds familiar. Um. We'll call it Michael Reynolds Millions. <laughs> there was a big blowout sale going on at the Cashman department store, which needed something to bail it out of heavy debt. What seemed like a sale was actually a deadly disguise for a mass murder by store manager Donald Cashman. What? He freaked out after a run of bad business. He freaked he out. He killed all of the customers and stole their money and valuables <laughs> in his warped mind. In his warped mind, he figured they owed it to him since he couldn't make enough money in sales. I'm just loading up the stream chat on our end. We're being beaten out by Fester's quest. Figured things <laughs> out. They shot Unbelievable. Cashman on sight. That should have ended the terror, but it didn't. The sheer power of Cashman's hatred and his ruthless obsession with money brought him back to life as a horrible monster. <laughs> He's still making products, but this time he breathes evil into them, turning the products into monsters themselves who suck up a customer's money and soul. <laughs> Cashman's out there somewhere, waiting for the next customer, as he secretly sits in a safe, counting his money. <laughs> so, capitalist excess sucks out all your money and also your soul at the killer department store. This rocks! This rocks! Oh my god, I have the stupidest grin on my face. I bet you do. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, we didn't mention our gimmick at the start of the show because I was uh, woefully unprepared. Uh, uh -huh. Of course, as you know, after all of you have watched us for so many years, you know us as theme park vloggers first and entertainers uh, something like 99th or 100th on the list. <laughs> so we're here to offer our expertise as uh, theme park goers. We've been all around the world, and we're going to tell you just how good or bad the experience here at Illbleed is. Yeah, I've been to Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm, so <laughs> I think I know what I'm talking about. So are there parts of Disneyland or Knott's Berry Farm that exclude you if you don't have enough money? <laughs> Yes! <laughs> uh -huh. Well, maybe not Knott's Berry Farm, but there are parts of Disneyland you can't go to unless you are unless you pay a lot of money to be in the club. Well, does Disneyland give you the prize money beforehand? Michael Reynolds cares about his customers. No, Bob Iger isn't that creative. You don't mind, though. If your money's stolen by Cash Man and the evil goods. The evil goods! So this is this is a new one. They just give us the, the prize money up front. There's probably a good reason for that. They're probably just being generous. They want us to enjoy our time at the park now that we're several attractions in. Okay. That's already paid. We don't give a shit about any of this. This is interesting. Oh no, brainless Randy! Brainless Randy! 
last time around we rescued our friend Randy, but we didn't find his brain, so now he is brainless Randy. This transforms him into effectively a different character. I think the brainless form actually doesn't have any brain power, so he can't identify traps whatsoever, unlike the, uh, the brain having Randy. It's a good strategy, though. There's some parts where he actually comes in really useful, but we're gonna we're gonna stick with Erico. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> Poor Randy. I'm so sorry. I didn't see his brain anywhere. Did you? I. It was it was near the it was like near the beginning of not the beginning it was like near the middle of the level by some boxes. Ugh. Yeah, you have to dig through boxes so much in this theme park. It's always a brain hidden in a box somewhere sick that, of this shit that was that was the problem with disney's california adventure not enough brains and boxes yeah that one thing that was all like soaring over the the world i didn't find a single brain in a box in my time looking out over the world you're like where are the brains where are the boxes this is a bullshit theme park sweet welcome land. to killer department here at sweet land wait there was a site back here but i didn't see it Hey, I, I really like that this guy, that this manager hated his customers so much he just killed them all. It was a damn shopping cart that took out a ton of blood. Now I'm bleeding before I even get into the damn department store. Good thing I bought a bunch of coagulant. Ooh, look at this. Wait, this so this is like a Walmart. Stuff. This department store sells like grocery goods. Yeah, it sells uh, mummy popcorn. Only a hundred dollars. Nice! nice. <laughs> <laughs> ah! The mummy popcorn got us. I do like the skulls on sale. Dude, they have so much mummy popcorn here. No wonder! Like, no what? It's like, they overstocked. Alex, I have a an ethical question. Okay. If you're a medical doctor, is it okay to put a bunch of skeletons around your office? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't ask for any particular reason, none whatsoever. First of all, I like that the other popcorn is dummy popcorn. So you've got dummy popcorn and mummy popcorn. Was I it like really? that. It is dummy popcorn. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know what? I am gonna ask Delphi Delphi AI. Hold on. Is Hold it okay? On. Oh gross! My money! Oh, it took your money! It licked away my money and made me bleed more. Much like in real life, makes you think. Alright, no, no, we're asking this this bad boy a question. Okay. Hell candy. So, is it ethical to put... Hold on, I need to spell ethical. To put skeletons up in a doctor's office. Decorative skeletons. Yeah, not real ones. Yeah, not real skeletons. Uh, not the hell candy! <laughs> it is wrong! Is that what it said? It is wrong? Yeah. Is it ethical to put decorative skeletons up in a doctor's office? It is wrong. It that's, is that's wrong. Do you result. agree? Yes! It is unethical. Maybe we just, there's a... Yeah, we don't have a horror monitor. I don't know how we're gonna... It's here early in the level, I read. It's somewhere. If we ever see all four of our senses start to go haywire, that's where it is. Wow, explosive tomatoes. Did I miss it? I may have just plain walked past it. Let's run around and bleed some more. I was gonna say, if you want a hint, folks are offering. Give me the hint. All right, we want the hint, just give it to us. I think... Oh, it was off to a room that oh, wasn't okay. marked. There we go. Hey, I like, uh... Is a... this like the the break room? There we go. Curse. Is that like a motivational poster? <laughs> oh, this guy I looks want... pretty motivated. <laughs> I want to curse him. Get motivated! That's what my manager at uh, <laughs> GameStop was like. Please let me apologize for not being able to satisfy your, uh, your intention. Please blame me as assistant manager for the failure of the Cashman department store. Therefore, I'll Oh, God! <laughs> Everyone in this world just jumps to conclusions like 
the quickest possible. You're all like, oh, what can we do? Yep, suicide. It's, you don't gotta. <laughs> all right. Um, you spent 38 years of your life here at the Cashman department store? Long live Cashman and the store. Regards. I, the, the company is not your family, I promise. Demotivational poster. But what if we have uh, staff-wide uh, cornhole tournaments? Hmm. Maybe Beer Fridays? Ooh, a secret note. First safe in grass. Second safe for Mary. Both near a man-eating ghost. A large evil spirit eats money by the third safe. None of this sounds good. Time to open up game facts. I don't know about any of this business you're talking about. Well, at least we have a caution bomb. What the hell is a... You know, just in case. Total amounts $1 million. Cashback sale today. If you buy $100 or more, you'll get $100 back? I can see why this place went out of business. <laughs> get a ticket at the entrance and enter in order. Please follow the floor attendant. Guide you to the exit. Mm -hmm. You may not be able to enter unless you have a lot of cash. We treasure all our customers. We're a department store of conscience. Yeah, Who do you think's a department store of conscience right now? Kohl's? Um, H-E-B. I guess H-E-B is a department store. Yeah, like the H-E-B pluses. Yeah, yeah. That sell video games. That sell Wii games for $60. They need to... Okay. We need an H-E-B plus near us, is what I'm saying. Agreed. I'm also expecting to take my time with these levels. We may have to repeat some segments if they go poorly, but this is the kind of game where once you know what goes wrong, the second time through goes a lot better. So I'm just here to experience it. That's not gum! It's one of the crash test dummies! Damn them! I can't do that, sorry. You know, I thought you were the only person who made uh, references to the crash test dummies, but no, the angry video game nerd had a whole segment about that, so... Good work reading... reading the zeitgeist. <laughs> That's what we call it. We, we do, we do. I just... Uh, I sit back every evening and read the zeitgeist. Is the zeitgeist a magazine? You know, I'm gonna ask... I'm gonna ask a question about this theme park. Look at my book bookmarks, and uh, the zeitgeist is just Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I keep track of the zeitgeist. Some username zeitgeist. <laughs> All right. Um, is it wrong to create a theme park? Look at all these spookies. Filled with killer animatronics. I don't think that Delphi's going to like this. My money! Get that back! Oh, it was on the ceiling. You're going to take my money too, aren't you? What is this jelly? This... It's the jelly that takes away your money. I love this! This designer jelly! Watch out for your heart rate. Just spit blood on me. <sighs> oh yeah, that heart rate was looking pretty bad, huh? Yeah, you're getting robbed by slime girls. I don't know, we're both <laughs> getting something out of this. <laughs> let's uh let's take a nitro. Please fix my heart. Alright, back to the slime girls. This is a pretty cool area. I like these weird fluorescent jello molds yeah crime slimes exactly magma ram also i'm kind of interested in what the scares in this level are so i'm not going to be particularly careful about marking traps especially because we don't have much uh, adrenaline this looks good i like that can really that can's normal it's normal no no game. maybe in a different playthrough uh Damage Blast would come after us. Damage Blast coffee. Damage Black. I want some of that. And up here is just plain uh, worm soda. Which fell on us. Hey! 
Hey. Welcome, Snorlax. We're just we're just being crushed by cans of warm soda. It's pretty good. Just go into the Sam's Club and zombie arms reach out from hey, under the, the things. Hey, how come I found the brain? Natural brain. brain. Mm-hmm. Is it organic? No. <laughs> Insult to injury, that's what that is. I know, it's so mean when they take your soda. I mean, your money. Your money for soda. My soda money. We have more places to explore here. So this seems to be pretty straightforward, the layout. It's just very much a guided tour through this nightmarish department store. These are... I don't even know. Blood. Blood, blood drink. Blood, blood 100. 100% 100 mm -hmm. blood. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Um... Hey. Uh, I am the cake from hell. <laughs> but I need something more to be a complete cake. A cake I'd be proud to be. I feel like the top of my head needs something glorious. Or should I say, glorious to crown me. What do you have that I could wear as a decoration? Hmm? Well, here we are at the uh, Killer Court cooking show featuring the self-proclaimed cake from hell. He says he needs a topping. Let's go look for one. He seems nice. It is me, the cake from hell. No! They just blew smoke at you and then took your money. Rude. It's like a modern pop artist, am I right? I... Eh? No, we're not giving the cake man the Erole mag. Oh, Can that's a good idea. No, give them something normal. That's a good cake topper. No, if I saw that on top of a cake, I'd be like, oh god, because it looks like it's from the woods or something. What if I burst out of the cake? <laughs> okay. I think we can make something out of that. You goddamn video game. I marked the, the drawer right next to it. You did. That's unfair. Ah, oh, what a good game. He's trying. Okay, you can't avoid combat by marking it. Oh, okay. Hey, strawberry. Hey, that looks nice. Is this Minmo? Looks like Minmo. Yeah, I think it is. Look at these look at these nasty ass soft serve machines. They they look like they've been like left running or they're melted or something. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Haven't been maintained in a while. Mm-mm. Oh my god, how bad do you think they smell? The worst. <laughs> All I need is a salad and a hassy. And I'm good to go. And we'll take a deep breath. I like that you have to buy the concept of breathing deeply. Yeah, you can't just think about it. It's been commodified in some age. There's also something back here we didn't get. Worm? Is it worm? Can we get worm? Oh, is this just a new area? Corn! Corn? They got corn. Turn to your left, there's corn. Pumpkin. Brain. Hair. Um, hair. Mm, that pumpkin's growing hair, I don't want it. Blood. Chili beans. Corn. Pumpkin. Brain. Everything you need for a good chili. Onion. Chili beans. Blood. Mm-hmm. Give me that blood chili. Is brain a vegetable? Um, it's kind of like tofu. What does that say? Lovely cash. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we, we, the meat uh... bear stole my money! <laughs> we all love the meat bear. Until it steals your money. I hate that. Cookie Cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I want to take you there. When they when they bury me, when they lay me down the the cold cold ground, don't me don't take me to the Arlington Memorial Cemetery where all the heroes are buried. <laughs> bury me at the Cookie Cemetery. Another freaking dummy. Thank you, Saint Aspertine, for the nine month resub. After nine months of subscribing, I am fully birthed as a Retro Pals fan. <laughs> Thanks for the weekly bafflement. <laughs> ah. Glad to baffle. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. This seems like a good area to just be scared by. Yes! That's what Brad does to my stomach. See, exactly. I Man, like this. if I'd been going around marking all the, the scares, we wouldn't have seen any of that. And that would have been heartbreaking. Of course, that also means I gotta run through items, but whatever. Grover will not be seen tonight for a special presentation of Elbleed. I mean, if he's here, we'll find him. Cake Castle! Why are there swords here? They're just decorative, it's fine. <laughs> decorative cake swords? Yeah, you know. I like this haunted HE a lot. It's cool. Ow! I got put on fire. You know, it seems pretty unlikely someone would put their head in there to look at the cake and then spikes would come down there, but uh, I would I would do that. <laughs> I would just put my head in there to look at the cake. <laughs> I mean... It does look like a tasty looking cake. Mm-hmm. Be like, ooh, cake. I'm gonna put my face in this. Maybe I just maybe we just need to take you to H E B again. I think so, yeah. So you can prepare me for ill bleed. Oh, I'm bleeding all over. Yeah, take a coagulant. Yeah. Oh no, different thing. Yeah, it's funny that <laughs> the C D destroys itself after each use. It's mm -hmm. wonderful. It's a Divic C D. <laughs> we got the baked cake. <laughs> I made Alex remember Divix. No, now I'm, I'm thinking about Divix, and now I'm thinking about those uh, those DVDs that had the intentional bit rot, where they would rot away after, yeah. like, yeah, so they would expire. That's super cool. Oh, I, ah, uh, we truly do live in a society. Mm -hmm. Nice. We have a weapon. Are you gonna give the hatchet to the uh, cake? Uh, we can either give it the small cake, or we can give it the strawberry, or we can uh, hatch it. What do you think? Hmm. Part of me worries that if we give it something, it's going to use that thing to kill us. Oh, yeah. That but, seems like something it would do. But it seems really nice. Like, you know, it'd be I haven't pretty been, chill. I haven't been properly pixel hunting, so if you don't mind, I'm just gonna... Oh, of course, of course. Now that this area is all... Free and clear. Very good set design here. Again, I really like the uh, super vibrant food uh, places, like boxes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're very bright and colorful. You just want to scoop it up and eat some of that hell candy. Oh, I want hell candy. Okay, I think we're good. I just don't want to miss a thing, you know? I don't want to close my eyes. Don't want to fall asleep. Mm -mm. Because I'll miss the cake. I don't want to miss the cake. All right, Mr. Cake Man. We smell something. Is it the Cake Man? It's got to be fresh cake. No, it's getting more faint. Okay. Where is the... Where, what do I smell? Probably those melted soft serve machines. Possibly. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew I smelled that hamburger that ate my money. <laughs> it's a haunted hamburger. <laughs> Not the ketchup dispensers. You got ketchup. This guy's a real sicko. Is there nothing we hold dear that he cannot pervert? Truly disgusting, man. Hello, cake. Hell cake, sorry. <laughs> you were just being nice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the strawberry. Certainly they'll like the strawberry. Hello, cake. 
What about the caution bomb? I don't know about the caution bomb. No icing on the cake. Big ripe, tasty strawberry. Past it. No, no, I don't need this. What? <laughs> Kicked it back at us. What an asshole. No, that looks delicious. <laughs> well, let's try the, the little cake. Okay. Oh, we lost it. Is that a problem? What does he think of this? We're fine. Okay, no, good, good. No, I don't need this. What the? Screw well, you, man. Hmm. You know, I was joking about the hatchet, but... Can't be used. Oh, okay. I think there's an item we missed out on. Can I re-find the strawberry? My hunger for strawberries. I guess we don't need it. All right, I'm gonna keep an eye out okay. for uh, hidden that's... stuff. Man, what could he? That strawberry looked delicious. It, it was did. really well rendered. I wanted it. Maybe it just wasn't appropriate for a cake from hell. Oh. This kind of looks like one of those. Uh... Oh, how do I describe this? School assemblies or something? No, no, never mind. I was thinking of Azumanga Daio, as I usually do. You know, when School they set festival? up. Yeah, when they set up the cafe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, that's not real life. That's just an anime. They have, well. Aha! Do you think he'll like the separate head? I think he'll love it. He better, because I got no ideas. Alright, um, here's the. Here's how you get a head in this game. Nice. I just stole that from Bart. Versus the space mutants. <laughs> Good citizens always get ahead. They had to fix that. In Revision Zero, he, he uh, accidentally said, uh, Good citizens always get head. <laughs> Are you really? Really? T check TCRF. You know, I will. Not now, though. What do you think of this head? Oh, yeah. This is just what I needed. Bloop. Complete at last. Perfect. Thanks to you, I'm complete again. Why not take me with you? This head makes me look so fabulously fiendish, darling. By the way, for great strength and energy, why not take a bite of me? Why not? Um, don't eat the hell cake. Why not? I want, I want to eat that hell cake. I mean, it look, he looks delicious. Give me a piece of that. <laughs> he looks amazing, and I, I'm sure he tastes amazing. I want, I want that hell cake. But something's telling your sixth sense not to. I guess not. Still no strawberries. He took my severed head. Please take a big ass bite out of me. I love it. Let's not get through here. Oh, you can jump up on the stage. Thank you for that, actually. I completely forgot we could jump. Yeah, me too. How about that? Hey, buddy. <laughs> we just took the whole thing? Just the whole guy. <laughs> All right. Is he, is he with us in our inventory? New taste. Decorated with a freshly severed human head. Limited availability. Pre-order yours today. I love Hell Cake. I don't want you to eat him because he's a precious friend. Sometimes we have to eat our friends. 
What do we want? No. Apple pie, coffee, tea with milk. Delicious burger or vegetable Cheeseburger, burger. chicken burger, fish burger, vegetable burger. <laughs> delicious burger. I want delicious burger. Yeah, I think we better go to a delicious burger. Hello, you know, delicious. over here I didn't read the uh, the vegetable part of vegetable burger, and I only saw the able, so I thought it said relatable burger. Weren't they selling those at Burger King for a while? Like the the angry whoppers? Yeah, yeah, they were like, uh, get a burger to to express your mood or whatever. It's fucking stupid. I'm yeah, sorry. it was. Get a Darth Vader burger for when you're feeling like Darth Vader. Do oh, it. Oh, 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 the angry meal and the sad meal. God, could you have... Oh, yeah, the sad meal. Can what you... a dumb thing to monetize. We're never getting the Burger King sponsorship now, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, can you give me the sad meal? I'm feeling sad and I need to accept... The only way I can express my emotions is by buying burgers. Hey, uh, I'm here to eat my feelings. Save point. We got to a save nice. point. We still have a shit ton of items. I'm feeling pretty good about our about our chances here. But first, we have to go through another produce section. Or are these frozen foods? This is frozen foods, it looks like. This just looks like a Trader Joe's. You know when I was loading up chat on my tablet? Mm -hmm. I saw an ad because I'm not subscribed to my own stream. And the ad was the sickest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was an ad for some insurance company. I know which one. I'm not going to say which one. Uh, it's like they just start piling up raw meat on a <laughs> on a on a like a scale. I know the commercial. Like, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't actually hear it or see anything about it. I just saw some guys start to pile raw meat on a scale. Like, wow, get ready to watch Retro Pals. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing puts me in the mood for a good old Retro Pal stream like a big pile of meat. Piles of raw meats. Retro Pals promise. Yeah, they show me that ad a lot on YouTube, and I'm always like, cool, skip. Guess that's why I'm not in advertising. Jesus! <laughs> Dismembered pig hooves just sliced us. I could never be in advertising. First of all, it's horrible that you got sliced by pigs. That that sucks. Pork obtained. <laughs> Pork obtained. I could never be in advertising because... Load me up. Because all I would do would be, I would just constantly be cold calling the executives at Michael's, trying to get them to, to do a tag oh God, a pig against butt. their competitor. Oh no! my God, oh! It farted my money away. <laughs> You're that one insurance company I run for its money. Good God. Yeah, what do I know about selling streams to people? All I know is how to load up on pork. <laughs> what the? There's unlimited pork here if anyone wants it. It's like supermarket sweet. I was going to... Erico's this... loading up on pork. Those porks will pay big money at the pork bank. <laughs> what do you think? Can I be an answer for supermarket sweep? You're hired. All right. Glad you didn't ask what a pork bank was. No, Bevo! <laughs> All my nightmares are coming true. Beef. Can is we get unlimited, unlimited beef? beef? We can get unlimited beef. <laughs> nice. Is this a man? They're they're painting this department store as like something not good, but I've only had good experiences here. Sure, you have an accident with the pig hooves, but then you get unlimited beef. Your heart's beating so fast. You're so excited for the beef. Hell yeah. I've been asking where that was for years. For generations, the family has been asking where's the beef. You may have seen my beloved grandmother on TV for Wendy's. That's a big old roach. Well, what are they doing? Cockroach wants meat. Feed meat to cockroach. What do you think? Do you do you think it wants beef or pork? Oh my god. Um. 
Don't answer wrong, it'll get offended. Beef. You got it. Beef always seems like a safer choice than pork. Don't ask me why. Cockroach enjoyed the meat. Now it's gone. Good choice, Alex. <sighs> and we're gonna go back and reload our beef. <laughs> that cockroach was kind of adorable. Yeah. Very single-minded, he just wanted something, we gave it to him. It's trying to tell us something. Hmm. You also want me? I'm gonna say this one is pork. Please be correct. Cockroach enjoyed the meat. Nice. He wants more meat. Beef? Now it's gone. Bye, friend. This just like, why are there so many really chill interludes with like the cockroach and, and the beet and the cake? Mm-hmm. This level is interesting. Yeah. People just love having you here. Mm -hmm. And again, this is uh, capitalism. They'll do anything to get your money. That's true. Even stuff that doesn't make sense, like giving you $100 for spending $100. I, again, I just think that's a bad business plan. Apparently we got really good roach RNG. Oh, nice. Is it possible to get bad roach RNG? Or it'll just ask for meat forever? They can bug you for meat a lot of times in a row, apparently, so you got good, you got lucky. Bug you, I get it. Mm. Mm. Here comes the steakhouse. That's so, a... there's a steakhouse in the middle of this uh, department store? BBQ chicken. Pork tenderloin. Beef tenderloin. RJ Steaks. I just... I just think this department store has too much going on. Too many fingers and too many pies, you know? Yeah. Like, does Kmart really need a diner? They don't need a, a steakhouse, but... Oh, is this where Steak Man is? That makes sense. Uh, I guess I do approve of it. Bring your own meat if you want it grilled. Let's go. Hi there. Welcome to Mr. Meat Steakhouse. Hey, I see you brought your own meat. You can grill it up right here on my good old grill. Takes a lot of doing to cook all that meat, mind you. I'll make sure you're well done, too. What you waiting for? Get you and your meat up on there now, you hear? All right, let's grill. Oh, shit! Oh no! All the beefs I collected have come home to roost! Oh my god! <laughs> oh god, I have to fight them! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry, this is so funny! My I'm greed so... comes back to bite me, literally. <laughs> well, let's, let's carve our way through a wall of meat, because I couldn't resist picking up the maximum amount of meat possible. Oh man. Video game. Sorry. That's so great that this segment would be way easier or perhaps non-existent if you didn't bother collecting a shit ton of meat. <laughs> but the game just punishes you for playing it like a gamer. Because naturally you're going to pick up as much as you can possibly hold, right? Now i got to take out all these damn pork bellies. This. You're doing good. Watch you. Oh god, there's one more. Jesus Christ. Well, well, well. You're pretty good. Thanks to you, I can't get any more special orders of meat. That's just great. No more meat. And no use for you, that's for sure. So square. We ruined his meat business. Hmm. We gave him so much blood, too. You think he'd thank us? Mm -hmm. 
can we put the hell cake on the grill? <laughs> Do you want to? Can you grill cake? Alex? I think that's a forbidden question you just asked. Delfmeister, can you grill a cake? Delfmeister. I don't know. Can you grill a cake? The Delfster says you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And well, I will. I will grill a cake. All right, what's on today's menu? I see barbecue chicken. Rib, rib steaks, steaks. Bacon and onions. I want bacon and onions. That barbecue sounds chickens, good. Flank steak. Turkey burger. I thought that said turkey bargain. Free drink. This seems like your regular old barbecue place here. Yes. Yeah, we got normal. plenty of we got plenty of these here in Austin. I can't remember them ever putting me up on a giant grill though. <laughs> That's because I am the bacon strips dog. <laughs> and I do want bacon and onions. You shouldn't feed onions to a dog though. Yeah, don't do that. Alright, what's going through? That's a great idea though. I a place want... where you can just bring in all the all the food you can and they grill it for you. Or rather, you grill it. But Uzi, that's not... That makes sense. That's grilling it, but... It's just grill marks if it's frozen. It doesn't have, like, the, the flavor of... Of of the, the charcoal briquettes. Maybe it will, I don't know. You're talking about frozen burgers? Yeah, we're talking... No, no, we're talking about grilled cake recipes, honey. These fresh vegetables don't look very fresh. Apparently you grill cake by taking a slice of frozen cake and putting it on the grill to get grill marks. That's bullshit. That's not real grill cake. These watermelons are too murderous. Okay, less murderous and more uh, larcenous, but... Yeah. Stupid money-grubbing melons. Wait, are these, are these worms? God damn it, the worms are back! Sick of worms! This game loves its worms. It sure does. go through here, my sixth sense is going off. It's something. But what? Hey, I don't, I don't want to buy these vegetables. I think we can get fresher. Oh, it was just an encounter. Never mind. We'll get through here. We, we got this. God, that's... Are those pumpkins? Where are they? Uh, A lot of delicious looking food around here. Uh, it's just a worm. Fuck! The carrot drill! I'm losing so much money. Those are big ass carrots. I don't think I'd be able to eat that big of a carrot. No, absolutely not. I'd get like, I'd, I, you know what? I know myself. I would start to eat it and I would just think I could eat it and then hubris wise. Mm -hmm. You think yeah. I could eat a whole carrot? what our money stitch is looking like because we're going to need money for uh, the next chapter. <laughs> oh! Right. <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Are you going to stress eat a salad? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should be a little bit careful because we kind of need money for the next uh, the next level. Money is good to have. It is. That's it... the rule of capitalism. Just one rule. Money is good to have, baby. Cash is king where I'm from. And most places. I was going to say San Antonio, the only place that loves cash. Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. That's just gross. 
money can buy goods, services, and these nasty pineapples. Ow! Ow! I wouldn't want to be attacked by a giant pineapple. These pineapples are beating the shit out of you. Very visceral, the idea of getting a pineapple to the face. Yeah, that... Do I want to go up here? I kind of want to see if there's items. You know, out of all the fruit, that and dragon fruit are the least... They're the ones I would not want smashed in my face. Yeah. Just seems Maybe dangerous. Maybe durian, too, because it's kind of pointy and, and, yeah. And stinky. Yeah. Knowing me, I'd get it in my hair. Ugh. God, I hate my beard. No one wants durian in the beard. You don't, because you're carrying that with you all day. Okay, I'm pretty convinced there's no items we need here, so let's just head on to the next area. That's a normal heart rate. Mm-hmm. It's fine. That's the vlogger heart rate. Are you in the back room? I think I am. This? Oh, you are! What's the, what's the lay of land look like here? Oh man, it's a... Well, I guess it's not a total maze. It's a partial maze. That sucks. Chemical water. You think this is effective at uh, maintaining lines? No. These big piles of dirt? I think that they shouldn't use big piles of dirt as a queue line. Uh... Thing, but maybe they should. Maybe, maybe I'm the ignorant one. Okay, is this a thing we have to fight? It's looking like it. So, how do I best fight these damn worms? There's three of them this time. Dyson and Dyson. I'm trying. Right. Uh, buy some chat. These are a pain in the ass. Okay. All right. How do I beat them? Chew. Chew. Is she saying shoot or chew? I think it's chew. What is she kissing them? It's like Space Channel Five. That's on Dreamcast. Did you know? Uh, you're basically doing what you have to do to beat them. Okay. Just, Just smacking them. them. Yeah. Alright, you fuckers, emerge. Emerge, damn it. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. We may not survive this. That's okay, I know the route through the last area and there's no items to get. Okay, good, good. Too many worms. Just too many worms. I don't know if these freaking worms. This game is very worm-centric, I've noticed. Very worm-forward. How the worm turns. You know, worms are coming back in style with that new Dune movie. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, worms. Woo! <laughs> Maybe it's, you know, time. Alex's trending topics. The new Dune movie. Yeah! <laughs> That's what we're going to call your new segment. Alex's trending topics. That's true! Every Everyone's so excited for the worms! And then you've got those worms on a string that all the Gen Zers love. Like, it's just worms everywhere, man. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> worms on a string? Yeah, worm on a string. Come on, chat, you know worm on a string. Okay, good. Yeah, I could see that coming. Let's run that back. Do it better this time. <laughs> worm on a string is not just fishing. Yeah, that's what I thought. The new trends. Oh my god. Fishing. 
Okay, I'm gonna show y'all a worm on a string. You'll know what I mean. And no, it's not fishing. Folks, it's not for fishing. It's these little guys. I got piggied again. Let's see, okay, this is a BuzzFeed article about them that says, once again, teens are obsessed with worm on a string. <laughs> see, it's real. Here, it's a BuzzFeed picture, but you, you, you know what this is, yeah. This is this. Oh my god. Stop giving me all this tracking info. Just show them the worm. <laughs> Just show the folks the worm. Show them the worm! Alright, so the roach was uh, pork, then beef. Uh, uh, the second roach. For, first roach, we fed it beef. Second roach, we fed it pork, then beef. Okay. I guess you, we ran out of food. There is cockroach RNG. I'll be damned. Do you have meat to feed it? I don't. But... That's called strategy, baby. Okay, yeah, I guess you can just, uh... <laughs> Listen to CDs and mm -hmm. fix yourself. Okay. Have some steak. Back in business. Okay. And we did it faster this time, too. Now let's see the steakhouse if we don't have any meat. Hello there. Welcome to Mr. Meat Steakhouse. I love these Mr. Meat. You didn't bring your own meat. We don't mess with meatless customers, if you get my drift. <laughs> so move your bony booty on out of here. Now. <laughs> Aww. They don't mess with meatless customers. We gotta yeah. go get some meat. Hell, it makes sense to me. I, I guess. Let's see if we can get by with just one beef. Okay, Smevel, I don't know if Mr. Meat is related to Mr. Food, but I can't... Danny hadn't heard of Mr. Food before today. No? But I... Hi I... there. Welcome to Mr. Meat Steakhouse. Mm-hmm. Hey, I see you brought your own meat. You can grill it up right here on my good old grill. Takes a lot of doing to cook all that meat, mind you. I'll make sure you're well done, too. What you waiting for? Get you and your meat up on the now, you hear? All right, let's see if it's just one meat. It is. No, no, Mr. Food's catchphrase is, uh, ooh, it's so good. But it's, he copyrighted the exact way he said it, the intonation of his, uh, phrase. The, uh, yeah, Art well, Ginsburg. Well, well, you're pretty good. And, <laughs> and the way it's said is, ooh, it's so good. <laughs> Yeah, that was all new to me. I didn't know that Mr. Food was a thing until Alex told me. Thank you. Thank you, Scarlet Service. Yes, you put emphasis on the ooh and the so. Mmm, that's so good. Also, he's dead now. That was my journey about finding out about Mr. Food. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that's his catchphrase. And then Alex was like, oh, he's dead now. That's all I know about Mr. Food. Uh, Mr. Food had segments like, they just, Mr. Food was all over. They were all over uh, Southern California. I want to say it was PBS, but it could have been, God, I swear they just played him when they didn't have anything else to air. It was like five minute things, I swear, like filler TV. Okay, Mr. Food was nationally syndicated. Good for him. Living the dream. Just telling all the folks about your food. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Food was... I remember it just being a segment they would cut to on my local news. And now, Mr. Food with the yeah, food. I thought Mr. Food was just an L.A. thing. I'm learning he's in Iowa, in 
in uh, New York? Holy shit. Mr. Food was everywhere. Maybe he's watching us right now. I'm sorry, but if Mr. F wherever Mr. Food is in, in the afterlife, I hope they're doing something better than watching us. Wow. So Mr. Food wasn't a Texas thing. Okay. Yeah, how would I know? That's like asking me about H.H. H. Greggs or something. <laughs> I still can't believe H.H. H. Greggs isn't a UK thing. It sounds like it is. It does. It sounds so UK. See, we're already back to where we were. Now all we just got to do is down a couple of hassy. Got to take our nitro pills. Staunch the bleeding. Mm -hmm. And we're ready to fight some worms. Worm time. Mr. Food was on 168 TV stations in 2007? Whoa, that's a lot. I'm losing my voice to this. Yeah, you wait for him to emerge and then you whack him. All right. You don't let him run into you. Yeah, H.H. Greg signs do make me uh, feel like my brain has malfunctioned as well. <laughs> yeah, H.H. Greg's, that's too many H's. Too many G's, too. Mm hmm, it's just too many letters. Yeah, when I first saw H.H. Greg's, I thought it was a joke. Like, like someone was making a joke, and then I thought it was from the UK. Because whenever I don't understand a business's name, I just assume it's from the UK. This was described as, uh, what, a pain in the ass? A pain in the ass uh, by Sebmol, yes. Yes, that seems to be, <laughs> that seems to be the case. Mm -hmm. This looks very much like a huge pain in the ass. Yep, you got a melee weapon that has no range whatsoever. Every attack makes you bleed. These things only stay up for a second. Maybe if I just do this. It was working! Yeah. Ugh, they're ganging up on me as the problem. They are! They're assholes. This game would be so good without combat. Yeah. How many horror games can you say that about? All of them? Every single one. Oh, I remember the Cheeky Nando's phase of uh, Twitter. Yes, that was horrible. Cheeky Nando's? Yeah. It was... Everyone on Twitter was talking about going for a Cheeky Nando's. Why? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. Why do you think I don't post anymore? I don't know what's going. I don't know what's going on anywhere now. You saw the Nandos and you're like, fuck this. Something about now. I, I go on Twitter now and it's all about Kingo and and uh, Orko. I don't know. Sporko. I'm just making shit up. Uh, Nandos has good chicken. Nando's did poorly in the pandemic. I'm learning all about Nando's. Did Kingo die? <laughs> Alex, is it too too late to start over and play this on an emulator with cheats? <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, I think it might be. Oh. But you're doing a good job killing these worms because these worms fucking suck. See, yeah, the Eternals can die. That's their whole thing. I think it's really funny that <laughs> on Twitter, hey, you got one. Did I? Yeah. Nice. On, tw <laughs> on Twitter, all the Eternals have their own hashtag, except for Sprite, who has the hashtag Eternal Sprite, because it's copyright Coca-Cola. <laughs> I thought Wawa's was fake, too. Wawa. Like, uh-huh, yeah. That's something a baby says. <laughs> Idiot. Wow. It's not real. Way to take him down. About time. Some sheets? 
That's just the that's a where's program where I do spreadsheets. But sheets is real. Alex is unstoppable tonight. I am unstoppable. You know what I hate? This game. I dislike it a lot. <laughs> Piggly Wiggly also seems fake, yes. I love everything except having to play it. Playing it absolutely sucks the big balls. Thank you, The Ultimo, for the 36-month resub. That's three whole years. Thank you. Thank you. Wares. I'm all about the wares. Oh, I absolutely thought that Come and Go was fake. No, Come and Go is very Oh, rare. I've seen it, yeah. We're doing this again. I know the roach skip now. Okay. Just just go on through the roaches. But not the pig butt skip. That's an advanced tactic. Yes, the uh, B in H-E-B does stand for butts. It's uh, hairy. The H stands for hairy as well. Mm -hmm. so it's it's hairy butts. Hairy butts. So what is this? You just give them one and it randomly decides if that's enough. Yeah, is this it time. Howard or are they called him? Is it Howard or Harry? No, it's not Harry, right? It's Harry. Okay. Maybe I won't feed meat to the cockroach. That's an asshole. Here we are, all torn up and before the grill. You know me before I hit the grill. You gotta hit the salad. Yeah, I'm just barely. <laughs> I'm just barely dragging myself into the grill place. Is this a Mandela effect? Half a chat is saying it's Howard. It's definitely Harry. Don't send us any food from Wawa. I don't know if it would make the travel here. Oh my god, everyone is saying it's Howard. No, that can't be true. That's my most deeply held belief. That the creator of H-E-B <laughs> is Harry Butt. It cannot be this way. <laughs> Howard Butt is still pretty funny. No, it's not as funny as Harry Butt. I mean, that's true. Hello, Card, if you have the insider info, I gotta ask. Well, well, well. Hold on. Okay, good. Is, uh... <laughs> is H.E. Buddy an asshole? <laughs> Do you know him? This, uh, what's he like? Anyone ever get a chance to hang out with H.E. Buddy? The sentient shopping bag? Who loves Jordan to save you Mallory, money? Mallory! Where I've also seen the toaster scramble situation at the, at the H.E.B. Yeah, they never have them. They're never in stock. I have to be like, it's so random when the toaster scrambles are in stock at H-E-B. Oh my What's god. What's going on? Oh, I just remembered something. What? I was supposed to tell you something, Alex. Um, Did, am I in trouble? No, you're not in trouble. <laughs> are we in trouble? I might be in trouble. What happened? Um, the last time I cooked a toaster scramble, there was a hole in the bottom and all the scramble part fell into the toaster. Uh, except instead of telling you and cleaning it up, I didn't do either of those things. <laughs> I think we need a new toaster. Can you give it a look after the stream? <laughs> Don't ban me, it's my own toaster. I'm being punished. It's me who's being punished here. That totally slipped... I meant to tell you. <laughs> I just, I ate the toaster scramble and I was like, wow, there's no scramble in this toast. And it was all at the bottom of the toaster. And I was like, fuck this. I'm going to go play video games. <laughs> uh, I never said streaming was a glamorous job. Just announcing all your most embarrassing moments live to millions of people around the world. Sorry, Alex. I can't stop laughing. Oh, okay. Anyone want to donate us a new toaster? 
We, can, we may be able. Those aren't expensive. We yeah, can we can. Yeah, but they're real cheap. <sighs> Got me thrown all out of sorts by <laughs> my toaster confession. What? <laughs> all right, we're full. We're full thank on health. Thank you, Jordan Mallory. Jordan Mallory donated twenty bucks for a new toaster. Oh, thank you, Jordan. <laughs> Seriously, thank you. <laughs> That will be immediately spent on a new toaster this weekend. Mm -hmm. so, sorry, sorry, Alex. It's okay. Jordan knows, as a fellow fellow uh, toaster scramble fan. Uh. Always glad to eat them when they have them. Yeah, yeah. I literally, I think I check every time I go to H E B to pick up my medication. Mm -hmm. I check that, and there's like this one. There's a one type of cat food and gravy that AGB makes that Buttons loves. Buttons cannot eat any of any of the other gravies except for the ones that are like prohibitively expensive. So I always have to make sure that like I always have to check to see if they're in stock. Cause half the time they're not. Spin Cut gives us a hundred uh, bits. Thank you, and says you're gonna need these for a new toaster scramble too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now I can afford more toaster scrambles. Mm -hmm. To squirt their innards inside the new toaster. Thank oh, you. God. And thus, uh, the circle of life is complete. <laughs> 100 bits from the Ultimo. A Master System toaster mod is now for the taking. Thank you. All right, let's do it. Like a toaster that plays Master System games. Uh, let's just run around until these things stop for like a split second for like five frames. Well, well, Danny fights. Chad, do you want to talk about the newest amusement park news? Let him have it, Alex. All right, there is a new uh, theme park being built on an oil rig uh, out in Saudi Arabia. What do you think the theme of this park is? Oil? Yes! I got it. It's an oil rig park themed to oil. It's on a real ass oil rig. It's gonna be called the rig. So uh, it's just called the rig. Yeah. Good. Get get excited, everybody. Get ready for big rigs. I don't know if they're gonna have a Garfield ride there though. There is a Garfield ride in Abu Dhabi. Garfield finally got to go to Ab Abu Dhabi. Wow, he mailed so many normals there. They had to open up their own park. God, I hate these worms. I'm sorry to be anti-worm. I do too. Didn't we only have to fight one in that one chapter? Yeah, and it was like one big worm, and now it's all three of them. Yeah. The worst part is when they hit you, you lose just enough time so you can't counterattack. The game wants you to think you can just smack them afterwards, but you can't. They don't give you enough time. But it's your natural inclination to mash because that's all you can do. <laughs> this game goes against nature. Yeah, you have to be taken to the uh, rig by a helicopter or a cruise ship. You have to... Yeah, it's going to be like Jurassic Park, where you have to, like, fly in. Cool. That sucks. That's not bad. Maybe it's well. No, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure an oil-themed theme park isn't going to be very good. You sure? I mean, you, I mean, Disney's Universe of Energy had a really banging theme song, so maybe you'll have that at least. A banging theme song about oil. Mm hmm about how much oil rocks. Bullshit game. I was definitely... I was definitely an attacking phase when you just broke right through it, didn't it? Man? You don't even play by your own rules. Yes! Yes, a tea tree! The Six Flag Kadia, um... It has a roller coaster being built that, uh... <laughs> that... That is supposed to be the fastest, tallest, and... something else, but... It it looks like it, the 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 preview video of, of of it looks like it's not doable by human physics, like physics that we know, the law of physics. Um, it's not it's, not currently known laws of physics. Yeah, no, seriously, it's called Falcon's Flight, and um, where's the Falcon's Fury? No, it's Falcon's Flight, and it looks uh, fake as hell. So I'm very excited for it. It's supposed to go up to 120 miles per hour, maybe faster. That seems horrible. I'll tell you what's horrible. These worms? Yeah. yeah these worms suck.
Uh, it will have inversions, yeah. So, uh, and it's being built by Intamin, who are famous for building... They're the ones who built that uh, Intimidator 305 coaster that everyone would black out on, so... Neat. Yeah, it's gonna be real good. Fucking worms, man. Oh, now I'm in that mode where you can't really do anything. I'm wondering if it's too late to fully abort this playthrough and just start on the Ring Terror's Realm. I have something controversial to say. Okay. The Ring Terror's Realm is a way better video game than Ill Bleed. <laughs> Not in terms of storytelling, writing, graphics, sound, anything except gameplay. Mm -hmm. The gameplay barely edges it out. Good job, the Ring Terror's Realm. You're being banned. Uh, I'm being banned because I'm right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this, a kangaroo court? It no, is a we're, kangaroo court. we're grilling up chicken, not kangaroo. I've given this one more try, and then okay. we're abandoning this game forever. We're gonna just throw it. We're gonna throw it in the toaster with the with the scramble innards. No, we're gonna throw this on eBay. <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get a happy ending here, no matter what. eBay is like a toaster. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, but it is. Okay. Feed the cockroach the beef. There was a third meat? Yeah, chicken. My god. bits from the Ultimo, uh, handing out uh, NFTs on USB branded on Almond, oh my god, for Halloween? That's amazing. Don't, I, I am so sorry. Whatever that is, that sounds good. No, no, it's bad. What if there are games where you personally have a great, fulfilling, enriching experience, but there's no way you can recommend them to anyone else, no matter what? I used to think Tulip was that only game for me. But now there's two of those games. Oh, there. See, this Good is hilarious. This game takes you to the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. It's truly sick. What a great idea. Putting you up on an interactive grill, making you grill your own meats. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. <laughs> Here's what we're doing. We're gonna go back to the save point after we did the meat thing so we don't have to do this again. Hey, can I mention another thing in uh, tourism news? Yeah. Have y'all heard about the nine month cruise Royal Caribbean is doing? Oh my God. I've heard of that. No, That no, sounds like a fantastic no, idea. No, no, Alex, we're already booked on the cruise. No, no. <laughs> Folks, we're gonna be doing our no. streams from a cruise ship over the next 18 months. No, God. I, I, what they're doing is they're, they're, they're making it in blocks, so you don't have to do the entire cruise. You can only do, like, the America part or, like, the part in Europe or whatever. You don't have to do the whole nine-month cruise because they break it up into little sections. But you could do the whole thing. Whole nine months on, on the Royal Caribbean. It's not even the biggest ship. It's the, it's the, not, it's the uh, serenade of the sea, so it's not even one of their bigger... It's like, well, they're all really big, but yeah... It's, yeah, it's going to be just, what kind of diarrhea is going to happen on the cruise? <laughs> New and exciting kinds it's of diarrhea. So much diarrhea. Will be discovered. It's like this, I, 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 I'm not trying to be a nasty man, but it's going to be really gross. Every kind of diarrhea, for sure. In God, you, I'm just thinking of the poor, of housekeeping on this. On this. Yeah. It's the staff that suffers the most. Because you know these people are going to be going for nine months and they are not going to tip well. Hello there. You gotta do the meat again? Yeah. You have to do the meat again. 
It's me, old Danny. I've been playing this game for 95 years. First you put the meat on the grill, then you get killed by the worms. Poor Danny's dying. Okay, well, we do have a hint, uh, a worm technique. Give me a worm tech. Okay. The trick is to run around in a broad circle and wait for one to emerge from the ground near you, then run to its backside and hit it once. That's right, only once. If you hit it two or three times, one of its cousins will get you from behind. I don't know why I pronounced it like that. <laughs> times. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. But no more, no more roaches, at least. Roaches are gone. You sure? Yes. Okay. If the roaches come back, you can, uh... You can you can blame me. All right. Sorry again about the toaster. It's really funny. I had a lot to do this week. It slipped my mind that I ruined the toaster. That when? What day of the week was this? Last Saturday. So I was, I was busy. The toaster was making a weird smell when I was toasting up my toast. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't want to know what I did to the coffee maker. Oh my god. I got really drunk. I don't like you this. You need to be a VTuber because this is a VTuber moment. I don't. I don't like this game because it's making me reveal too much about myself. <laughs> Might as well be a VTuber. Hey guys, guess what? I'm the VTuber. <laughs> you are such a VTuber in your heart. I'm the electronics ruining gremlin. Ha! That's me. <laughs> no, it's hundred bits from the Ultimo. Danny, no, Danny, yes. <laughs> it's gonna be a custom animation of me putting a toaster scramble into a toaster. <laughs> you have the heart of a VTuber. Do I? The heart of a VTuber? I was gonna say the mouth of a sailor, but you have the mouth of a VTuber. I've heard VTubers there. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean, Alex, that I have the mouth of a VTuber? Yeah. Because, like, you know, the mouth of a sailor, you curse a lot. Well, VTubers curse a lot. I'm gonna read this porno mag. Okay, you enjoy. This is what's gonna lead us to victory. Unbelievable. You think you know someone and they say you have the mouth of a VTuber. Whatever that means. <laughs> you, it's not a negative. I wouldn't say a negative about VTubers. I'm not dumb. I love them. <laughs> yeah, they run this place. They do. They run They're like the joint. mob. <laughs> the VTuber mob. Yeah, I was going to say. It's like, you know, it's like Tony Soprano. You don't talk shit. It's just like Tony Soprano. It is just like Tony Soprano. So run in a broad circle. Big broad circles, got it. Hit him from behind and only whack him once. You get so little time to do this. Under bits from the Ultimo. Danny the very irritated video game VTuber. Well, it's a niche. It's a I'm not one. irritated, but I am a VTuber. Thank you. My model is just uh, under all the different layers in OBS. You can't mm -hmm. see her right now. No, you're Greta Gremlin. That's your VTuber. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't move because uh, it just doesn't. Because we couldn't afford the animation. Yeah. We spent all our money on NFTs. It's worth it. It's going to pay off. Got one. One smack. I think this will just be a long fight, an annoying fight, but don't worry, I'll be talking. I have plenty of theme park news to talk about. Don't worry, don't okay, worry. Okay, good. As long as we're keeping our uh, fan base apprised of mm -hmm. new uh, developments. Let's see, let's see. Uh... Join us on the official Retro Pals cruise, launching in 2022. 
coming back in 2032. <laughs> It'll be a new world when you emerge. <laughs> we're going to get we're going to get all kinds of diarrhea. We're going to get we're going The Retro Pals cruise 10 years of diarrhea. <laughs> go on that cruise too I just think there yeah there's going to be a lot more diseases uh, once the retro pals cruise does its thing mm -hmm. we'll get her done we'll show you humanity do you think they're still gonna have the hard man videos in in 2030? What's that? Oh, you don't get those! It's on YouTube. It's it's hard to describe. It's there are these really like it's it's one of those videos that you get or channels that you see when you're on YouTube and not logged in. Oh, okay. Like it's it's part of that Mr. Beast core of uh, of videos. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I will show Danny a Dahar man. They're really good. <laughs> if it's not a VTuber or, vocal or a Vocaloid, I don't know what it is. That's my particular corner of the internet. Will every video be on TikTok? No, I hope not. That's where all the cults are now. Oh, there's cults on TikTok? Yes. There's cults, there's... You got, you got a couple wax in, yeah. <laughs> I was following this one guy on TikTok and I thought he was just making normal content, but then all of a sudden they started making like J Station comment while they were like, I'm seeing demons at 3 a.m. And I was like, what are you doing? Is that what all internet content is destined to become? It feels like it. We're going to talk about like the boss it. baby calling us up. Well, I mean, it could be worse. Oh, I wasn't following the... it. There are, I think there are probably MLMs on TikTok. Uh, I know, I, I, I'm not on Instagram enough to know. I, <laughs> it's funny, I got, I got on Instagram in 2019 because I was like, oh, I'm going to be taking photos around Austin and posting them more. And then, well, that did not happen in 2020. Yeah, it's the wrong kind of MLM on uh, Instagram. But the right kind of MLMs are all over TikTok for sure, for sure. Okay, so the boss baby is on on uh, the boss baby's on Peacock. Is is the boss baby animated series on Peacock? Because I actually watched that um, when I was recovering from a concussion, and um, it helped. It did. It helped because I was really bored and I needed something that wasn't like would make me think too much. I think I've told that story like a thousand times. I just still think it's funny. Thank you, the ultimate hundred bits. Uh, we're not playing EA's Majestic, don't worry. Not gonna play any game that uses my fax machine. My fax machine is for me and me alone. I think I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. bleeding to death. Sega Marine Fishing's right there on my shelf. Could be playing some Sega Marine Fishing. We could be fishing. People could compliment me on the size of my gigantic ocean fish. Mm-hmm. Let's see. You are you got this. This is a bad fight. One more. Okay. Hey guys, we're gonna get through the killer department store and killer man tonight. It's me, the overconfident gamer. We're gonna beat all the Dreamcast games in one eight hour stream. <laughs> Every Dreamcast! Including all the Japanese visual novels. I'll be reading every word. Ever 17, Chapter 1. Dear Diary, it sure was great to be 17 years old. It felt like it would last ever 17. I don't know what that game is. What's another uh, Dreamcast visual novel? I was going to say Seaman, but that's not a visual novel. No, it's not. There's... Tea Society of Witch, uh, Chapter 1. Boy, I sure wish there were some witches at this Tea Society. <laughs> <laughs> chapter 17, I got my wish, the end. Oh, there. 
Hi there. Come for me. I fucking love Benihana's. This is like a giant size Benihana. It is. This is like the good kind. You get right up on there. Well, well, well. There were two Evangelion typing games on the Dreamcast? Yep. And they're both translated, too. Hmm. Is that scary enough for our chat? <laughs> Evangelion typing. We could make it, we could, can we type in scary phrases like ghosts? Like boo. Mm-hmm. This is a this is a true original. I don't see how they could remake this and make it anything anybody wants to play. Same reason why they haven't remade Chulip. Incredible, unforgettable experience that you'll never want to go through in your entire life. That that sounds like a lot of games to me. No that, offense to games. That sounds but... like the Retro Pal stream in general. Mm -hmm. I've streamed games about Japanese producers where you're a flying shoe. I've streamed games where... Nope, that's the only one we've ever played. Yeah, we've, we've only played uh, Gabal Screen, nothing else. What if... I know I've made this joke before, but I'm gonna make it again, goddammit. What if... What if we just became Gabal Screen uh, streamers? I would be very okay with that. No more of this variety shit. Yeah, people just hate variety. They want you to stick with one game. It's like anyone who doesn't know anything about Twitch asks you after you say you're a Twitch streamer. They're always like, what game do you play? They always ask me what game I play. And, and we always say the same answer, Fortnite. <laughs> it's my fifth time fighting this boss. I got a fucking toaster scramble encrusted toaster. Stepmom mentions, if he dies, Erica, you may want to try his brainless Randy because he has a huge HP pool. And then you can revive Erica with the hospital later. I didn't think about that. Yeah, it's not game over if one of your characters dies. Do you resume from the save point as Brainless Randy, I wonder? Hmm. Maybe we'll get a chance to find out. Some very talented ROM hacker needs to take a whack at this game. Just find out, like, all the places on the disc that reference combat and then just, like, delete it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's how game development works. It is. It is. You just, uh, control F, uh, fighting. Control F, worm. Yeah, all, I guess that's what all the kids are in, the teens are into now. They're into that squid game. It used to be about worm game in my day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Make a game, it's gotta have a bunch of worms in it. God, I remember the worm trends of the 90s, mm -hmm. the 2000s. Worm 2K, worm aesthetic. Worm 2K. Mm -hmm. Global worm village. <laughs> very, very weird. Global worming. <laughs> oh. see the light fade from my eyes in real time as I play this game. <laughs> Every bit of lust I had for life. It's been replaced with worms. Now I lust for worms. Good night, everybody. If they stayed up literally one more second, this fight wouldn't even be a thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're doing a lot better this fight. Yeah, this is my best one so far. Until that happened. It's alright. Yeah, they're in, they're in the groove. The Grover groove. <laughs> you think they call it Grove Street because that's where Grover comes from? <laughs> yes! Yes! Yes, they do. And they 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 censored it. They censored it. Unbelievable. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm 
you come up to me, you ask me, what about that, that game in controversy? I'm like, which one, buddy? <laughs> There's too many for me to keep track of. They're remaking Grand Theft Worm? You do have one worm down. That's my worm fighting voice, yeah! Yeah, get that worm. I'm just worming up. Nice. There's so many damn worms. We can if we have to do the warm fight again if we uh, go to the save point. Oh, I wonder if we have to do the stake again if we go back to the save point. Oh. Right. I just want these worms to die at this point. This Blood's is... getting low. We're gonna have to just slowly walk around so we don't lose too much. come to you. Come here, worm. There they come. Come on, worm boy. Do the worms really need to have 70 billion health hit points yeah, each? Yeah, these are really sturdy worms. Let's see here. Yeah, they are too powerful. I think these are. This is this is exactly what Dune is about. <laughs> I've got some heart rate that I can burn through here. Good. Yeah, nerf worms, nectar vision. Yeah, come on. Blizzard announces they're renaming worms. I'm sorry, everybody. I can't. I can't keep up the, the high level commentary. It's okay. This. No, it's okay. I've literally run out of theme park news. That I'm trying to remember. I'm I'm going through my head. I'm like, God, what happened this week? steady. Slow and steady kills a worm. Does it? That wasn't even close to hitting me. Alright, one worm left. One dead? Okay. Yeah, slow and steady worms the race. Point where I'm limping. Just gonna keep popping up. I can't even walk up to it in time. <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the burn. Holy shit. Heal immediately, you're being told. It's... Told wait because you could have loaded with a character. I 
the Sega Dreamcast, Blue Skies, fantastic games, nothing but good content on this system. Tonight we are celebrating Halloween by heading out to the most terrifying place of all, the Untamed Ocean. Time for some worms on a string. Yeah. How you like that, motherfucker? <laughs> This game's so fucking cool. Look at these fish. I think this is one of the Dreamcast games I'm never gonna sell. Like, even Dynamite Cop is fucking $90 now. I can't justify keeping that. But this game, this is gonna be $10 now and forever up until the end of the human race. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it. Rainbow fish. Yeah, that fish was gay. The big one. Bravo. See, it's got coral reef. It's got fish. What more do you need? Wow, entertainment. Ah, I'm feeling better already. Are you familiar with your fishing buddy you get in this game? No. <laughs> he rules. <laughs> Coral Reef. He has a lot of voiceover in this game. Uh, nice boat. Thank you. You know, I don't think we're going to be fishing up Elmo or Grover today, but... Who knows? I don't even think... All sorts of mysteries lie at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, give me that big pencil popper. Yeah, cast that shit. Here we fucking go. This, this is how you make a video game. I was insulting you. Well, it's, it's right. I can do better. Okay, okay. Any any you fish interested? Anybody? No one? Okay. I'll cast again. Don't worry. How about, like, right here? Go, Danny, go. See? You're getting good. Okay, okay. Oh, Ooh, yeah! Hook up! Fish! Yeah. We yeah. did it. Good fish. Okay. We're eating tuna tonight, boys. 16 pounds of it. Good fish. We can do way better. All right, get more tuna. Let's get us a lunker. I'm lunking tonight. You need lunking? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, there's some big boys out here. Yeah. Give me that big skinny fish. Skinny fish gonna die, or are we gonna toss it back? I don't know how this game works. <laughs> no, we eat all the fish. Okay, cool. You can catch all you want, but you gotta eat all you catch. Yeah, that fish is really dead. Look at this. Oh, that fish is Fuck dead. Fuck yeah. 77 pound great barracuda. Sure, Juan. It killed me right after the fight! Yeah, that was... That... I couldn't even hit the start button. I was mashing the start button. I, yeah, no. That... Are you feeling calmer? Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you, Sega Bass Fishing. This helps. It's Sega Marine Fishing. Ah, oh, well, whatever. I just called it fish time. Oh, big boy. Big, strong boy. Yeah, you bled out during the victory animation. What the fuck? I have never seen such disrespect from a video game. Not in all my years. <laughs> it's the disrespect that got to me. Look at this motherfucker. What is God that? damn. Hey, we have too much fish. 
Do these fish even taste good? Uh, actually, these are all inedible. Are we gonna die eating them? Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, you're too little. Let's continue. Alright, keep fishing. Yeah. Was this game ever in the arcades? This one, no. Okay. Sega Bass Fishing was in the arcades, but this is a uh, Dreamcast exclusive expansion spinoff. Okay. I think it's the best out of all of them, frankly. Mainly because of the narration. And your dude's fanny pack. I like the fanny pack a lot. Let's go, we almost met the quota. Aren't y'all excited to see what's next? Is it more fish? Alex, how could you spoil it? I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa! He's a whoa, frisky fella. This guy is pissed! Oh my god! Yeah, the fish just jump all over the place in this game. Oh, oh my god. Calm down, dude. Listen. It's playing music like you're piloting a fighter jet. <laughs> what a great game this is. Oh, it's a wonderful fish. It's a big one. We did it. it. Clear. Let's try next field. Okay, where do you think you're gonna go? Shallow. shallow. Ooh, shallow. Oh, this was on Sega Naomi hardware? Okay. Oh, it was also in arcades? All right. Mm. It's a good game. They should put it in arcades. There's a permit fish. I'm gonna say it. This seems like cheating. How Look so? at this water. This water is so clear and blue. This is like... You're not a fish! Yeah, you're a, you're a stingray. <laughs> can I eat you? Yes, you can eat stingrays. Really? Uh, yeah. Poison's only in the tail, and... Um, what if I want to eat the poison? Well, then you can. You can, you can eat it to your heart's delight. I... I can. I would never Good stop fish, you. he says, clearly knowing what a fish is. I guess it's part of the the family it's, of it's fish. A, it's part of the fish family. It's a. It's yeah. No, I forgot what they use stingray meat in substitute of. It's like in substitute of another kind of fish. Scallops, I think. I think. Yeah, I'm actually going to look this up. Cause, Cause, you can't eat them. I've never eaten them. Well, best of my knowledge. Get the fish Put it in the toaster. Okay. Yeah, they do use stingray uh, uh, to make um, fake scallops. Oh. Huh. Yeah, they just. Oh, uh, that's. They just use a cookie cutter on the fin, and cut out little circles. They do not cook it in the in the toaster. I mean, I thought it was a good idea. You know what? If if scallops are that counter, it, I'm everything is talking about everything I'm reading is talking about how easy it is to counterfeit scallops with stingrays. So maybe I have eaten stingray and just haven't known it because I've eaten a lot of scallops in my life. Could be, could be. Wow. Because there have been times when I've eaten scallops and I've been like, man. That was a 169-pound fish I just lost. I'm heartbroken. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. We need to non non-fungible <laughs> distingrays. Look what I got. Um, You know they use sharks to make uh, fake scallops, too. <laughs> You're saying that they they make everything out of fake scallops, or rather, everything the other can way turn around. into fake. Yeah, non fungible trout, non fakeable tuna. God, this is I lost good. the 250 pound shark. People lose millions on the stock market every day, but none of it felt as bad as losing that shark. I have dreams about that shark. That fish is jumping. Yeah, the fish are really vibrant and active in this game. That's why I prefer it over Sega Bass fishing. These fish are... God, I'm so bad at this. 
These are a bunch of crazy ass fish boys. I love them. Now, now I'm just thinking of all Here we the go. times I've had scalloped at a restaurant and been like, hmm, this tastes different. I always thought it was just like rotten, but now I'm like, was I eating like shark? I don't want to think about this. Danny, kill that shark. You got it. Get its ass. Just gotta wear him out. Ooh, ooh. You're doing good. Yes! Wow! Oh my god! Ugh. Yeah, just put your hand near its mouth, it's fine. Mm -hmm. 233 pound shark. You proud yeah, of it? Yeah, that was Jaws. Yeah, I don't think you're. Sub I, I don't know if it's legal to, to fish for mako sharks now. Well, I mean, if they take the bait. Yeah, it's not your fault. You, you Technically, just... I'm losing out here because mm -hmm. I lose the bait. Mm -hmm. All those worms that I farm that I farmed from. Worms on a string. All the uh, worms that you got from Rachel. Still don't know what a worm on a string is. Ooh. Oh, we can do this. Come on. I got unlimited quarters. We're gonna get this shark and then we're gonna eat it. You know, I don't know if we should be killing a shark for food, but... It's marvelous! It's marvelous to do this! Look at those little fins! It's dancing. I'm going to... I'm going to ask if it's... if it's okay. Is it okay to fish for a shark... Uh... In... Uh... If you're craving fake scallops. <laughs> We're taking you to the offing, Alex. Yeah, that's about right. No, it's bad, says Delphi. They would know. Yeah. Ooh, lots of tuna. Dog tooth tuna. They got blue marlin out here. We can easily get the quota if we catch one of them. Hey, they're playing the fish drum and bass. I love fish drum and bass. I'm sorry. The water looked like pee. Excuse you. <laughs> no. This is where you want to fish, the disgusting water. Don't you remember the tips given to us in that one CDI fishing game? Mm-hmm, the nastier the water, the better. Yeah. Let's give you the nastiest fish. That's nutrients. It's like eating the heels off the bread. Yeah. I tend to not eat mine. They're gross. Yeah. That dude is hype back there, our captain. Oh, he's excited. <laughs> he's thinking about eating that tuna. What do we got over here? Any, any marlins hanging out by the lighthouse? Let's see if we can fish one up. The heel of bread is delicious if it's been toasted. Well, there's a problem with that. I was just about to say, I can't really do that now. <laughs> there's a lot of steps we gotta take before life can return to normal here in the RetroPals household. We gotta get our booster shots. And then we gotta get a new toaster. You hook off! God damn it. That was a marlin. They would have talked about me for months back at the fish house. You know, we do need the sharks with freaking laser beams on their heads. Absolutely. We need, also need Austin Powers. That. All right, we're back in it. We got another blue marlin. My mistake last time was not reeling enough. Usually it's the opposite problem. If you, if you reel too much when it's at max, it'll break. But you can also bottom out as well, so you got to really use strategy with these fishes.
Oh, he's putting up a fight. God, he does, he's fighting. He does not want to go in the boat. He does not, but I got news for him. I'm hungry. We need fish. My children need marlin. Yes! Is that marlin or swordfish? It's good. Blue Marlin. Nice. Okay, it's Marlin. Yeah, we gotta feed the chat. Alright, chat, line up. We're gonna toss a bunch of fish into your mouths like your seals. <laughs> Are we really using a using poppers to go after fish? Well yeah. These fish are addicts, Alex. Danny, I was just gonna make a. I was just gonna say these fish are gay. <laughs> Jesus. All right, Alex, the fish can be gay instead of drone addicts. Thank you. Right? No one's. Nah, you can't get addicted to poppers. Oh, I, I don't want to get in that convo. It's uh, it's, it's been fun. That was Saturday already. It feels like we've been streaming past midnight. Remember when we beat Illbleed? What a game that, that was. That was cool. Incredible. Glad we never have to play that again. Hey, Koya, we're fishing for blue marlins. We've never played Illbleed before in our lives. No, we beat it. Oh, yeah, sorry. We beat Illbleed. What an ending. Unforgettable. We found out who Killer Man was. Remember when Erico caught that giant fish? That was cool. Oh, bonus field. Let's do it. The hideaway of big fish. Okay, okay. This is it, the final boss. All right. Yeah, Randy got his brain back, and everything went well. We put a fish in his head. <laughs> he has a fish brain. Hey, same, same different. What kind of fish do you think is here? Um, monster fish. Twitch the rod. Jerk the rod. Jerk and twitch the rod, yes. This sounds like final boss music in a fishing game, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. There's a messed up fish here. You're gonna, you're gonna have to Loch Ness monster or some shit. I don't even see any fish. Did it's they not lie good to action, me? Though. Is there just no fish here? Did I get bad intelligence? How about over here? Can we hook us up a nice bird? <laughs> Does that count towards your total? <laughs> if you happen to hook a bird. There's a big boy down there. Come on. Come on, fish friends. This looks delicious. I like the fishes because they're so delicious. Oh, God. Tense. Oh, oh, I saw something. Let's catch it now. This isn't a monster fish. Being informed that uh, fish, birds are the fish of the sky. It's true. Mm, yeah. The filet mignon of the sea, they call them. Fish, that is. Get him. I love the way the dude says marvelous. <laughs> he gets me all hyped up about fishing. <laughs> He's so happy for you. Alright, one more fish and we're clearing this whole game. Let's all make right. it a big one. Let's make it a big boy. Where are the big boys hiding? Normally you'd be able to see them if they're that big. Actually, let's go for a... Maybe a bigger bait will give us a bigger fish. Oh, big popper. That guy has me blocked on the Twitch. <laughs> I love when they call me big popper. <laughs> Yeah, what if we hook the ship? Is that the big legendary fish we're after? I mean... <laughs> the ship. That fish wasn't big enough to be our legendary fish. Fuck that. We're not going out like that. Big fish only. Where are you at, big fish? Come on, fish. Come on, you finned fuck. They ain't over here. Oh. This is gonna be a 
world record eight credit clear of Sega Marine Fishing. <laughs> Here we fucking go. What is that? Here we go. This is a fish from my legacy right here. People are going to be talking about this fish more than they talk about me in the future. It's a sailfish. Okay. I'm learning a lot about fish tonight. See? Glad the stream turned out the way it did. It's a good thing you'll bleed ended early. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing you just really sped run through. You were doing the uh, Erico backwards long jump. Mm -hmm. Yes! Yes! Oh, it's huge! Big fuck-ass fish! Bigger than the both of us put together. Oh my god. My fishy fame is secure. Here in the ocean deep. Look Legit. at it, it looks so happy. It's happy for me. And they'll remember my name from years on. The legendary ass. That's beautiful, honey. Ah, oh, remember all these fish we caught? We're gonna have to eat that stingray. We're gonna have to make a lot of illegal scallops. Thanks everyone for joining us here tonight at the Huge Bass Club. Had a lot of fun. A lot of fishing. A lot of worms. Mm -hmm. but a we, lot of worms. But we did put them to good use in the end. Mm -hmm. Listen, just uh, come to our place. We'll have a fish fry. And uh, we'll, uh, you know, we'll have fish fry, uh, illegal scallops, all the illegal scallops you can eat. Because you saw how big that shark was. Oh, they got the amen break. You think fish composed this music? Yes. Special thanks to fish. Fish absolutely made this. They got on Fruity Loops and set the world on fire. You know, I hear I hear fish bank music by like just starting up GarageBand and then just making random music and then sending it to another fish, the GarageBand file. Mm. Then they just keep sending it back and forth until they make a complete song. You know that tracks with everything I've heard from these guys. I like the fish you caught that are swimming by you. Look at that. Look at that guy. Game over. That's the end. That's the end of ocean fishing. And that's the end of tonight's Retro Pal stream. We got a lot done. Uh, don't know what we're going to do next Friday. It's definitely not going to be Ill Bleed. <laughs> no. Because we finished that. We're done with that. The game's over. You saw it. We'll find something else to uh, close out the, the spooky month with next mm -hmm. Friday. I hope you look forward to it. Yeah. Alex, wrap us up. I'm going to look for a raid target. Okay. We do have a Patreon if you'd like to support us that way. It's at patreon.com slash retropals. If you pitch in $5 a month, you can vote on what we play every Wednesday. This week, the poll is all about um, how we're going to be tortured more, through Amiga games or through MS-DOS games. So you got you got to choose. It'll be a treat for you and a trick on <laughs> us. Exactly. Whatever wins, we lose. DOS or Amiga, what's it going to be? Make sure you vote. We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash RetroPals. We post highlights of our streams there. This week we posted uh, DVD horror games for kids. Next week we're going to have the uh, cursed Sega Genesis games going up. So <laughs> do check that out if you're interested. Yeah, a lot of cursedness to go around. Uh, around. Mm -hmm. We've cursed ourselves plenty. We're very cursed. And hopefully you have a curse-free weekend. Yeah. Or make it a cursed weekend, whatever oh, you yeah, want. Oh yeah, it's the weekend. I have to, hold on, I have to... It's whatever you want it to be. Folks, we got to do this raid in record time because Dot Level is at the very last level of Castlevania 3. Let's see if she can do it. Let's see if she can beat all three forms of that bastard Dracula. I think she can. I think she can. Hell yeah. Have a good weekend. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.